Hello and welcome to another The Race Zone channel video. Today I will give a preview of the stage 10 of the Tour de France 2023, first stage after the rest day. But before I start, I will uh, have to ask you for a favor. If you could please subscribe, it would really help the channel and it will mean a lot to me. So if you like cycling, if you like this content, please subscribe. Now let's move on to stage 10 uh, from Vulcania to Izoar, 167 kilometers long stage with some rolling terrain, uh, a lot of climbing, a lot of uh, like small downhill sections, descents, and this is the kind of stage why I love cycling. This is the stage where you can, you don't have to be like the best climber, you don't have to be the best sprinter, but this is a stage where you can shine and uh, win a stage, be in the breakaway, fight for the win, even if you are not uh, the best in, in any of those categories. So it, it is a breakaway stage for sure, uh, starting with a, a small climb of the Côte de la Moreno, 4.8 kilometers at 4.7 percent, third category climb, perfect opportunity for the breakaway to form. Uh, I expect to see guys like Magnus Court, uh, uh, Alberto Betti, or maybe even again Nelson Powell's for EF, maybe all three of them, you never know because tomorrow is a breakaway day. Uh, Van Aert will probably try from the get-go, Wonderpool with some help of Soren Krag maybe, uh, whole uh, quick step Sudal will try to get in the breakaway for sure, Alaphilippe, uh, Asgren, uh, maybe even Yves Lamper, I don't know, for sure they have to attack, they have to salvage something from this tour because Jakobsen is not going good, he crashed, he's hurt, uh, maybe in the, in the final days they can work for him again, but now they, it's their time to attack, then call the Guerri, uh, uh, 7.8 kilometers at 5%, now, now if a break we doesn't form the first climb, then I think for sure on the second it will go away, then uh, some rolling terrain, sprint in Le Mont d'Or, I don't expect uh, there to be a much of a fight because Philipson will probably be in the peloton, and the other guys uh, will fight for the victory. Uh, I expect a really large breakaway, maybe even 20, 30 guys. Uh, then Col de la Croix Saint Robert, 6 kilometers at 6.3%. Then downhill, uh, again, a rolling terrain with what categorized climb, Col de Saint Victor La Riviere. Then uh, again, rolling terrain, a uh, long downhill section of some 14 kilometers. Uh, from more than 1,000 meters of elevation to 608 meters in Ard, and then I think the decisive climb of the day, Côte de la Chapelle, Marcus. Here the breaker will probably shatter, but maybe we will see some guys attack even later. If you have like a teammate in the group, then you can attack and go away. A break like a fuga de la fuga, breakaway of the breakaway. So we will see a lot of interesting. Uh, Tactics, uh, I expect, like I said, uh, Sudal, uh, EF, to have a lot of guys in the breakaway, try to, to play their numbers, because this is a really great opportunity to take the stage. And after this climb, we will have a long downhill section, all the way almost to Izoar, where the stage finishes. So, uh, what is interesting is that tomorrow it's going to rain in Izoar, it will be really hot, like 37 degrees, but at around 2 or 3 we will see some light rain, and, and, our, and at around 5, when the stage is uh, going to finish, it will be a heavy rain, so that the sand can maybe be dangerous. Uh, I hope there will be no crashes, but we'll see. It can also play a part. Maybe a guy like Mohoric can go on the downhill section and win the stage. So let's see what the bet, uh, bookmakers have on their bets. They have a vote Van Aert as the favorite. That That's... Uh, clear at 5, but he's not such a big favorite because, like I said, it is a really uh, hard stage to control. I don't expect that Van Aert will have a, a lot of help in the in the breakaway if he goes, maybe just uh, Benoit or Laporte, but it's it's risky to, to like, uh, tire those guys because they are they have to help uh, Vingegor in the coming stages. Then Wanderpool, I think he will have uh, help for sure. Magnus Kort, like I said, Mohoric, Skelmose, uh, Alaphilippe, Betio, uh, Pedersen for Little Trek, Skelmose, Ciccone, maybe they can form some alliance also from Lidl. Aramburu for Movistar, they are also stage hunting. Jorgensen was uh, caught in the last, uh, like, 500 meters yesterday, but they will uh, keep trying for sure. Fred Wright also for Bahrain, so yeah, uh, he and Mohoric can also form an alliance. Madua from Fast de Dejeu, Asgren, like I said, for uh, quick step. Johannes, and now I don't think that he's going to try tomorrow, he's more of a climber. Rui Costa for sure for Intermarché, maybe even Bini can try. Uh, Soren Krag, uh, Tons, uh, and then some uh, favorites, I don't think that those are guys are going to win. So if I would have to choose someone to win, that I, then I think that Wout Van Aert is probably the favorite, 
but it's going to be a really thrilling stage and interesting. Uh, will we maybe even see some GC action on the final climb? I'm not so sure, but we know that the Yambo, they like to try some things, so it will be really, really interesting, and I'm looking forward to this stage. Uh, before we finish, let's just look at the GC standings. Uh, Vingengor is still leading, uh, only 17 seconds in front of Pogacar, Hindley uh, still in third, 240 behind, uh, Carlos Rodriguez and Thomas Pitcock riding really good for Ineos and in 4th and 7th, then the Yates brothers in, in between them, uh, Adam at 439 and um, Simon at 444, then Godou for France, he's the best, uh, their best hope at 601, uh, Seb Kuz still in the top 10, but uh, he has the Giro in his legs, he's struggling a bit, uh, it, it's going to be a really big uh, ask for him to be so good even in the third week, so... Jumbo has something to worry about, but they at tent and then will bow and maintain is lurking for that top 10. So thank you all for watching, uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, please comment, tell me who do you think will win, who will be in the breakaway, what kind of stage do you expect and hope to see in my next video. Have a great day, bye.